Good morning, everybody, and welcome back to Dan's Pro Shop, where everything's made up and the instructions don't matter. That's right. Just like when your doctor tells you you need to cut bacon out of your diet. <laughs> okay, buddy. Hey, today we're talking about thread pitch, why it's different and the different applications that you would see it in, the difference between metric fasteners and American, and even pipe thread. They're all different, and it's a valuable skill to know the differences between them so you can tell what you need and get the right thing the first time. Let's take a look. So let's go ahead and take exhibit A here. We have an M14 by 20 bolt. What that means in metric is that this is 14 mil and OD on the threads. Outside diameter is 14 mil and the 20 means that there are two millimeters between the peak of one thread to the peak of the next. Let's go ahead and measure that so you guys can see what's going on. When I measure the outside of this bolt, check that out, 14 mil. Whenever I measure from one thread to the next, yeah, that's where your two comes from. That's how metric bolts are sized. Exhibit B, this is a half 13 imperial fastener. The way we measure that, the half inch, just like the metric, is the OD of the threads. So let's go ahead and change my measuring device to freedom units here. Measure the OD of this fastener, half inch, just like it states. And the 13 means how many threads per inch of length of that fastener. So if you were to measure this, in one inch of distance, there would be 13 threads in that amount. So that's where your half 13 comes from. Now, when we get to national pipe thread, this is where things get interesting. If you guys can see here, the thread is tapered. It's not straight like a bolt. And this is what gives pipe its sealing capability. I know that pipe thread is kind of designed poorly and well at the same time. Because of the fact that it's a thread, it creates a spiral leakage all the way from the source. That's why we have to use a sealant or a thread tape of some kind. However, because it's a wedge, it allows it to get super tight into the fitting that you put it into and create a better seal. This piece right here is a one inch pipe nipple. So obviously, you measured the length of this thing. So this would be a four inch pipe nipple, but the one inch does not come from the outside like we measure fasteners. The one inch is the ID of the pipe. So whenever someone says I need a half inch pipe, a three quarter inch pipe, whatever, they're talking about the ID. This confuses a lot of people and this is something that's handy to know. Now with pipe, there's also something we need to keep in mind called schedule. Schedule means the thickness of the wall of the piece of pipe, and that can affect the ID and OD of this. Not extremely, but enough to throw your measurements off where it might make you second guess. So this is a regular schedule 40 piece of galvanized pipe. So my ID is one inch. However, if I bump this up to schedule 80, my ID will be smaller because the wall thickness is more, if that makes sense. Now, when we get to PVC, it's the same thing. This is a piece of Schedule 40, four inch PVC pipe. And if we measure the ID of this, it's four inches. So whenever we're talking about pipe, just keep that in mind. The size is the ID. Where the material would flow is the number that we're talking about. So in conclusion, metric fasteners, OD is the same measurement as the OD of imperial fasteners. However, the pitch is from thread to thread. An imperial, the pitch is how many threads within one inch. 
pipe gets tricky, you measure the inside. Same thing as PVC. This is a super handy thing to know how to do just off the cuff. If you're making material lists or whatever, you need to know what you're getting before you get it so you don't waste time and money. If you guys are interested in this kind of stuff, drop a comment and a thumbs up. Let me know. Until next time.